Now, there have been a number of um, legal actions. And I know we, we ended the last segment with um, that this is also very political, but let's focus on the legal aspect. Yes, yes. Now, there are motions filed with NTC. You mentioned MTRCB. and also CA? Court of Appeals? The, the court of, Supreme Court. Supreme Court and also with the Office of the President. Yes, yes. Can you take us uh, walk us through what's happening in each of those venues? Okay. So <clears throat> it all started because of the resolution coming from the House of Representatives to ask, the NTC, are asking or urging NTC to suspend the SMNI. So what did NTC do? Is uh, suspend for 30 days. 30 days without any notice, without any hearing. We are only given a resolution from NTC that we are suspended for. 30 days. Now, what, what what should have been the procedure? What, what, should, what, what was what was uh, the expectation according to law? They should give us a opportunity to explain okay. why we should not be suspended. Okay. So that is the so due process. There should be due process of law because especially that there is a jurisprudence that any order that affects freedom of press are presumed unconstitutional. So therefore, because of that jurisprudence, the government or the state or our constitution highly give more protection to, to our freedom of press than any other right. So therefore, what should the NTC do is to give us an opportunity to explain. But unfortunately, they suspended us for 30 days. So what we, we, we do, the, SM, the SMNI legal team, we filed a petition for certiorari direct to the Court of Appeals. Unfortunately, CA denied our petition to to the on what our, our petition for TRO and certiorari on the ground that that as a should file first a, a motion for reconsideration to to the NTC. NTC. We said that, but since then NTC has made that suspension indefinite. Now again, no, before the indefinite, there is thirty days first. Okay. So this indefinite suspension is the second suspension. Right. So right. the first suspension is the third day suspension. Right. But and but the CA said that we should first file an MR before applying for TRO to the CA. Now, what is the ground for the second suspension making it indefinite? They said that number one, despite our suspension for thirty days, they said that we allegedly operates the uh, operate uh, in, the Visayas, in yeah. region 6 there yeah. was an operation of the radio station in region 6 December of 20, December 27 so that is their first allegation so but we called all the technician the the radio managers or station uh, they said that is not correct so they are willing to execute an affidavit that's why we filed a uh, yesterday we filed a motion for reconsideration to the NTC attached the the affidavit of the radio sta station managers of SMNI in Region 6. But, but, but that suspension, the second suspension, that in itself, is that according to procedure? I mean, should there have been also a hearing, they uh, said, a notice to explain, you know, something they, of that nature? They can do <clears throat> that only if there is a report, a report from any Bureau of the NTC, but in this case, there was no report. It, they just immediately so give a suspension. The best thing that they should do is, this is what they call double double jeopardy in violation of due process. First, violation of due process, the 30-day period, they violated the due process of the of SMNI. The indefinite suspension also, they violated the due process uh, clause of the Philippine Constitution, we were not given an opportunity to explain. And they said that SMNI failed to answer of the Shokos order, and that is not correct. Because we filed an answer. In fact, before we filed an answer, we filed a motion, a motion for bill of particular. We're asking NTC, what are, can we please clarify all our, our alleged violation so we can respond it properly? Because it's very broad. They said that we violated the franchise. In, where, what franchise that? What provisions of the franchise that we violated? Where, what provisional authority that we violated? What certificate of public convenience that we violated? We need a clarification so we can respond it properly and intelligently. Unfortunately, they denied our uh, bill of particulars. And under the rules, if the NTC denied the, the motion for a bill of particulars, we were given five days to file an answer. 
which in this case, we filed an answer within the five-day period. But they said that, that SMNI failed to answer, therefore the SMNI waived our right to answer. So that is their argument. So that's why we filed a motion for reconsideration and asking NTC to, to reconsider their decision. But I, I personally, I don't expect them to reconsider it. So hopefully they will issue a denial immediately. So we can file a court. petition directly to the Court of Appeals or to the Supreme Court. Right. So, what would be the, I suppose, what what what, what would be, um, uh, you know, the, the desirable outcome in, in a case for 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 SMNI? I mean, is there? Can you file for losses uh, because you're off air? Um, uh, I don't know what 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 uh, relief are you our, seeking our first, besides getting back on air? Right? Our priority <clears throat> right now, Kling, is we're asking the court to issue TRO. Okay. Temporary restraining order. So hopefully the court of appeals will issue TRO because our case is different from the case of Attorney Harry Roque. Uh, okay. The case of That's a good thing uh, you Harry, Roque, that, Harry Roque, we together <clears throat> with the reporters of SMNI, they're filing it directly to the Supreme Court in their personal capacity. That is not the case of SMNI. They're filing it in their personal capacity. Our case is we follow all the procedures. Go to NTC, file a motion for reconsideration, CA, then to the Supreme Court under the Suarezug Media Corporation. So your appeal for a restraining order, I suppose you file it with the CA? We've, we will file it once we will receive a resolution from the NTC denying our motion for reconsideration. Oh, so you, yeah, so because, you're waiting on that. Yeah. Because, N, because CA said in our last uh, certiorari, they cannot respond or take action to our to our petition without first filing an MR. Uh, so so well, we will file an MR. Is NTC obligated to come up with a decision at a certain time? Because what if they just uh, drag it on until 2025 or 2028? That's why if they, if, they, if they fail to, after our motion for reconsideration, if they will not act on it, we will file a motion for early resolution. No, but what is the what does the law say that they should certainly there? Within a reasonable period, maybe based on my experience, uh, thirty to sixty days, they should okay. they should uh, issue a resolution. Otherwise, that will be a ground for a graph case that we are planning to file against them. I see. Now, this issue with MTRCB, explain that to us because that's a separate. Uh, MTRCB is different. Yeah. yeah. MTRCB <coughs> uh, issued a fourteen day preventive suspension to the two programs of SMNI. Okay. Because according to them, uh, laban kasama ng bayan and gikan sa masa of PRRD may violate, may. There is no violated. The word of the resolution of SMNI of MTRCB may violate the rules and regulation of MTRCB. So they, they are not sure whether or not there was violation, but still they suspended for four, they issue a 14-day preventive suspension. After after <laughs> filing several motions, MTRCB another issue another resolution or ruling, give us 28 days suspension minus the 14-day suspension, the previous suspension of the preventive suspension. So, additional 14 days. But the additional 14 days was not uh, was not uh, was not uh, actually served by SMNI because we filed a motion for reconsideration. Well, it's not a bit overkill because you're already off air, right? I mean, yes, yeah, uh, so actually it's <coughs> overkill. Oh, yeah. There is a case uh, with MTRCB, case with MTRCB, another case with the uh, with the franchise committee of the House of Congress. So if you really, if you see this is legal but more political, I may say why because it's overkill. Uh, all the forces of the government is against majority of the forces of the government is against SMNI but we are ready we are ready to defend SMNI and to the entire uh, freedom of press and freedom of expression of the Philippine government oh, why, why do you think that is do you think you know uh, is SMNI advocating let's say for as President, uh, former President Duterte said, separation of Mindanao from the rest of the Philippines uh, or something like that? I cannot expect uh, that SMNI, I don't expect that SMNI experienced this way, okay. that this treatment uh, to the to, uh, Marcos administration. Because if you, 
I remember SMNI is one of the supporter of of President uh, BBM. In fact, and uh, one of the successful debate presidential debate is coming from SMNI, and that debate boost the candidacy or uh, boosted the candidacy of of President uh, then candidate uh, Bongbong Marcos. So. Ko, well, I was part of that debate. You know, yes, I, hindi you, ako makapaniwala. You, you could also say that you know President Marcos was oh, well, he was already popular then, but it boosted the popularity yeah, of yes, the SMNI. Yes, yes, yes. Good, uh, but uh, you you mentioned that you went to the palace to appeal. Yes, yes, yes. Tell us about that. W w on what grounds? Because uh, we filed an appeal <laughs> to the office of the president uh, last uh, this week. Last week we filed it last week on the ground that uh, because the MTICB denied already our motion for reconsideration. So if we fail to, if we will not file an appeal, another 14 day suspension, additional suspension of the decision of the, additional suspension of SMNI. So the appeal to the office of the president is for the two programs? Or? Two programs, two programs. So it doesn't have to do with the uh, if we will NTC? Not, if we will not appeal, we, we, we are, uh, it is as, as if we accept the, the verdict of MTRCB against President Duterte, against Ka Eric uh, Yusek Lorraine Badoy. So we don't accept the decision of the MTRCB. So although we respect MTRCB, but we, we, we don't agree with the decision of the MTRCB, so we filed an appeal to the office of the president. But what, what is the, you know, educate me here a bit. What, what is the legal strategy there? Because if the press, office of the president um, agrees with you, the network is still off air. Uh, if the if the office of the president agrees with me or yeah. the legal team of SMNI, uh, we are still off air, but uh, because of the N NTC decision, not because of the MTRCB decision. So okay. it means we will win. Hopefully, then this time we will fight for the decision of the NTC. So to, to clarify, does the office of the president? have jurisdiction over the NTC or? Uh... The, the Office of President has jurisdiction with respect to MTRCB because MTRCB is under the Office of the President. So the decision of the NTC granting that they denied us is appealable to the Court of Appeals, not to the Office of the President. MTRCB's decision is appealable to the Office of the President. NTC's decision is appealable to the Court of Appeals.